Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the synchronization of a sweep circuit with symmetrical signal. In the previous video, we have seen uh, like the sweep circuit, how it is going to be synchronized with a pulse waveform. Okay, that means a UGT relaxation oscillator we have considered like uh, uh, the example for any relaxation oscillator, any multi vibrators we can consider or any sweep circuit we, have, we can consider. There we have considered multi vibrators and thereby we have considered some sweep circuit like UGT relaxation oscillator. That UGT relaxation oscillator applies with a pulse waveform. That pulse waveform time period is going to be synchronized with the UGT relaxation oscillator. Generally, UGT relaxation oscillator has UGT relaxation oscillator has a time period like T naught. T naught is the standard oscillation period. Okay, this period is going to be synchronized with the pulse period TP. That may be TP for one time or two times or three times. That may be for n number of times. Okay, so after synchronization, after synchronization, we will be having the T naught will be equal to n times the pulse period and maybe varies from 1 to and so on infinity. Okay, that means the oscillation standard oscillation period is going to be converted into any type of pulse waveform, any type of time period that we would like to have. Here TP is the time period of the pulse waveform for which you are going to synchronize. Okay, <clears throat> the condition for synchronization here is the condition for condition for synchronization in pulse synchronization is TP must be less than T naught. The condition must be TP must be less than T naught. If at all if we are choosing the value of TP in such a way that if it is less than the oscillation period, then only the synchronization results. If this case violates, then there is no synchronization. You have to remember this. Okay. This is applicable for pulse synchronization. In pulse synchronization concept, what we have discussed in the earlier classes, that was achieved when the time period TP, pulse waveform is less than the time period of the oscillator. Suppose if I want to go for n times, <clears throat> then n TP must be less than T naught. We have to choose the time period like that. Okay, if n is equal to 2, then T naught will be equal to after synchronization, it will be T naught equal to 2 n 2 TP. If n is equal to 3, T naught is equal to 3 TP, like that. So if we are choosing the period of pulse waveform, then after synchronization, it will be equal to that value. Okay, this is the condition we have to follow. Another thing is amplitude should also be and uh, it should, should not be very less. It should be having some limited value. Okay, then the synchronization must be possible. <clears throat> but whereas in the case of symmetrical signals, in the case of symmetrical signals here, symmetrical signal is nothing but symmetrical signal is nothing but a sinusoidal signal, a sine waveform we are taking. Okay, this sine waveform is applied to the same sweep circuit like UGT relaxation oscillator, but the condition here is there is no specific condition for the synchronization like in the previous case. Okay, there is no condition in symmetrical synchronization. No condition is there for synchronization that means synchronization is possible it is possible it means here synchronization it is possible for t p here it is t only t less than t naught t is equal to t naught and even it is possible for t greater than t naught here it is the pulse period in the previous case, it was pulse period. That that's why we have taken it as TP. But here it is the symmetrical signal, which is a sinusoidal signal. We are taking the sinusoidal signal time period as T. <clears throat> so T is less than T 
t naught and t greater than t naught and t is equal to t naught whatever the situation is in any of these three cases the synchronization is possible okay that is the advantage of symmetrical signal synchronization now let us see the condition for t is equal to t naught what is t t is time period of time period of sine waveform or symmetrical signal t naught is time period of sweep circuit okay see here actually there are two different points we have to observe in a symmetrical signal one is the quiescent breakdown voltage this one one is quiescent breakdown voltage vpo vpo is the quiescent breakdown voltage or we can also say it is a original breakdown voltage where normally the sweep circuit achieves okay if i say without the application or without any application of triggering pulse or synchronous input synchronous signal the original peak value for which the capacitor has to charge okay see before <clears throat> before going into the concepts of sweep circuits uh are synchronous circuits you should have the circuit of sweep circuit in mind okay sweep generator circuit you must have ujt relaxation oscillator circuit you must have in your mind that that is already covered in the previous videos okay so keeping that circuit in mind i am explaining this concept without that you cannot understand okay so there is a capacitor and resistor and a ujt ujt comes into on when the capacitor charges up to the peak value okay that means the peak value is nothing but your breakdown voltage or uh, uh, we can say cut in voltage of the ujt now this is that voltage that voltage is indicated here okay this is the quiescent breakdown voltage or we can say original breakdown voltage without the without any application of any type of synchronous or triggering input okay this is that voltage now we are not disturbing that voltage the capacitor is charging to the same value and again relaxes and again going forward again relaxes so this process is keep on continuing that's why the original time period is not going to be disturbed and it is t is equal to t not okay so in the bottom part we are having the valley voltage vv is nothing but valley voltage capacitor has to charge up to peak voltage again discharges to the valley voltage again charges discharges and this process will be continued okay so all these points o all the o points are nothing but your quiescent breakdown voltage values which are a standard breakdown voltage which is not violating the basic operation here we are not changing the time period of the <coughs> we are not changing the time period of the oscillator so that's why t is equal to t not okay now you may have a doubt what happens if this peak touches at this point what happens if this peak touches at this point what happens again if it touches somewhere between the pulse and somewhere between the anywhere of this uh, sinusoidal signal <clears throat> there the synchronization will result and it changes the time period of the sweep circuit okay what is the meaning of this sine wave form see sine wave suppose if i am having any sawtooth wave form that goes in this direction okay that goes in this direction and when it reaches up to this point up to this point you may have a doubt that whether the capacitor will discharge return back or not okay suppose it is not here it is here hope you understand it is here the sawtooth wave form which is going like this a ramp signal that is not there that is now it is here okay now at this particular point we are applying some pause to peak see at the same position at the same instant what is the pause to value we are having some pause to integer value which is applied at the which is applied at the base 2 of ujt relaxation oscillator when we are applying some pause to voltage to the base 2 of ujt relaxation oscillator it means we are increasing the cut in voltage of the transistor we are increasing the cut in voltage of the transistor so as long as the cut in voltage increases the capacitor has to charge much more period much more value because the cut in voltage is not achieved at that's why 
it is going further it is going further until it reaches the maximum value okay so i can say that the sinusoidal signal is nothing but your new breakdown voltage the sinusoidal signal is nothing but new breakdown voltage suppose if you are if i am having the sawtooth waveform that goes and touches at this point will it go to this value now will it goes to this value or will it go to the new uh, again uh, greater than this value no because at this particular value we are having a negative voltage okay at this particular value we are have, we are giving negative voltage see sinusoidal signal whatever i am giving that is at, applied at the base 2 of the uzt relaxation oscillator now base 2 is applied with a negative voltage because of this negative voltage the breakdown voltage now coming down compared to the original value so that's why it has to return here only so this type of deviations that we are going to see in the figure see here see this is the new sinusoidal signal let us assume that the condition like t is greater than t not so first condition i am taking t is greater than t not when t is greater than t not see the sweep terminals point touches somewhere between 0 and x that means here okay here and here this is generalized waveform i will tell you see here it is touching here at this point again it goes to the relaxation period value vv and again increases ramp and goes up to this value and again touches at this point now what is happening the capacitor charges for charges for much more time compared to the previous one so time period increases time period increases we are increase we are intentionally changing the period okay and the second case is the time period is less than t not there the capacitor value touches somewhere here okay because of this one it charges uh, to the less value and again uh, returns back and again goes to the same value and continues what is happening here the new time period which is we are intentionally changing the capacitor on and off conditions the capacitor charging and discharging periods are changing means the time period of the entire oscillator is changing okay so in this way we can change the time period of the oscillations by changing the position of your sinusoidal signal by changing the time period of the sinusoidal signal okay we are selecting the sinusoidal signal time period like that which is t is greater than t not or t is less than t not but one thing we need to understand that whether the t is less than t not or t is greater than t not or even for t is equal to t not synchronization is continuing continuously following up here okay see nowhere we are losing our pulse it is continuously occurring okay in general we can draw a waveform which shows all these modifications okay i will write here when t is equal to t not the sweep is terminated the sweep is terminated yet wo the sweep is terminated at wo means this one okay at wo in this situation there is no change in the period so leaving the period unaltered second condition when t greater than t not the sweep terminals the sweep terminals at the sweep terminates the sweep terminates at a point such as x that means which is between 
वो एंड मैक्सिमम पॉजिटिव वैल्यू मैक्सिमम पॉजिटिव पीक लाइक ये सी लेट अस वेर इट इज लेट अस सी वेर इट इज सी हियर इट इज द मैक्सिमम पॉजिटिव वैल्यू ये एंड इट इज द जीरो समवेर बिटवीन दीज टू पीक्स इट विल टच ओके दैट इज द एक्स इट इज शोन हियर नाउ व्हेन t is less than t not the sweep terminates at a point such as y that is between where is y o and b o and maximum नेगेटिव पीक लाइक बी ओके मैक्सिमम नेगेटिव पीक दैट इज बी हियर बट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट एवर द कंडीशन इज इन ऑल दीज थ्री केसेस वी आर अचीविंग द सिंक्रोनाइजेशन इन ऑल थ्री केसेस we achieve synchronization synchronization okay and one more point here it is when the period t is such that the sweep terminates either at point a or b the limits of synchronization have been reached since since at a the sweep period at a the sweep period has been lengthened and at b the sweep period has been very shortened at, at actually what happens is we are saying in uh, at zero at x at y what happens if the waveform goes up to this point a what happens if the waveform goes up to this point b if the waveform goes charges up to the capacitor charges up to this maximum peak a there the problem comes because the capacitor has to charge for more period and again when it goes to the and when it goes to b the capacitor is charging to the less value okay so either it goes to the maximum value lengthened or it goes to the minimum value like shortened other than these two cases remaining everything is possible okay this is about symmetrical triggering in the next video i will explain about the frequency division possibility with respect to this symmetrical signals thank you